Hi everyone, this is Mrs. DeMarco. I'm going to show you how to log in using your agcolonials.org email address so that you can participate in all the fun activities your teachers have planned for you during remote learning. First thing you're going to do is hit the power button, which is at the top right hand corner of your keyboard on your Chromebook. And you'll wait for your screen to power up. If you are logging in for the first time, you will see this screen. Your email address is going to be your first name, dot last name, at agcolonials.org. Then you're going to enter your password. Your password will always be lowercase a, capital G, and your lunch number. Once you log in, you'll see this screen. If you're logging in for the first time, go ahead and click the blue button that says Get Started. There are many programs that are already pre-loaded onto your Chromebook, so it might take a little time the first time you log in for everything to load. All of the icons and apps that you are going to use on a regular basis and that are frequent will be down here. You can change that any way you want to. And you'll see this screen in order to log in. Where you want to go next is you always want to look for the nine dots. If you hover your mouse over it, you'll see that it says Google Apps. This is where all the apps that you will be asked to use with your teachers during remote learning and when we come back to school and continue with our hybrid learning or when we're back full time, you'll go here. So one of the first places you'll want to go is click on that nine dots and check your Gmail. This is where you'll get any information that's important to you, emailed to you from teachers and from the district. So if you click on that, it will take you into your very own Gmail account. Always go back to the Google Apps whenever you want to move through anything Google related. So the next thing you're going to want to know where to find is your Google Drive. Your Google Drive is this icon right here. Any work that you do in a Google Doc, in a Google Sheet, or a Google Slide will be saved in your Google Drive. This is where you will save everything that you work on, and this is where things will show up whenever your teachers share things with you. This is what your Google Drive looks like. The nice thing about Google is there are many pop-up windows when you first log in that give you additional tips and ideas on how to use their apps. The next thing that I want to show you in your nine dots is where you'll find your Google Meet. and This is where you'll get to see your teachers that we know you miss very much since we haven't seen each other in a very long time. Right now, since we can't be together in the classroom, Google Meet is going to be the way that we get to see each other visit with each other, learn with each other, and have fun. So when you're ready to join a Google Meet, this is one place that you can go, as well as within the Canvas class that you are in with your teacher. These are just some of the very basic apps that you're going to be using in your Chromebook. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the district. Thank you.